I'm in the ingenious access point. This is the uh, EAP 300, but it doesn't really matter which one you're in. You can just go right to the firmware settings, the firmware upgrade in order to upgrade your ingenious access point. And that's over on the left hand side in this particular version, but I'm sure you'll find it. And once you click on there, it's going to ask you to choose a file to update. And it's also going to say the update currently what that is right now. So you make sure you find something newer than that. Well, let's start out by going to ingeniustech.com and let's find our firmware update. So let's go to products and then go to indoor access points and bridges or whatever it is you're trying to update. In my case, it's an indoor. And then from here, we're going to go to the EAP, scroll down to the model yours is and click on product details. Once we're on product details, scroll all the way to the bottom and you'll see downloads. Now I want to make sure that the version you're going to be upgrading is newer and in this case it says 1.7.22 and ours is 1.7.2 so it's definitely a little bit newer so let's go ahead and download that. It also says it's version 2 which is what ours says as well. So there's our file downloading right here, this .bin file, and you'll need to locate that in order to do your upgrade. So the easiest thing to do if you're in Chrome anyway is to click on the little arrow next to it and choose Show in Folder. And we can see in my case it's on my desktop. So we know where to go look for it when we do the upgrade. Now we'll go back to our access point and choose Choose File. From here, we'll go to our file, EAP300, and we will let it update. And it could take a few seconds, it could take longer, it could take a few minutes. You just got to hang in there. All right, once the file shows up, we can go ahead and choose Upload. Now we can choose Upgrade. And after about a minute, it says it was upgraded successfully, and now it's going to restart. All right, we're back at our login after about a minute of rebooting. And there we go. Let's go down to our firmware upgrade. And we can see now we're at 1.722. So that's how you upgrade the firmware for an ingenious access point.